So now let us define what is meant by a group. So let G be a non empty set and let star be an operation defined on G G star is said to be a group if first let us write it as closure a belongs to G B belongs to G then a star B also belongs to G this means that star is a binary operation which we will now call as closure second associativity if a b sorry let me write This property should hold for all ABC in the group. Third, existence of identity there exists E belong to G such that a star E is equal to E star A is equal to A for all A belonging to G. Fourth, existence of inverse. For every a belonging to G there must exist a dash belonging to G such that a star a dash is equal to E is equal to a dash star A so to be a group you must have closure you must have associativity identity must exist and every element must have inverse so let us take an example of a group now so let show that Z, the set of integers with respect to addition, is a group. And this is easy to show. So, the first thing is what? The first thing is closure. So, closure says that take two integers, let A and B be integer. This means that A plus B addition of two integers is also integer so a plus b also belongs to z what is the meaning of this addition of integers is integer so this means what is a, a plus b but a plus b is nothing but a star b so what is the operation star here the operation star is plus so a star b also belongs to z so what we have concluded we have taken a and b in z and we have concluded that a star b is also 
in Z. So the closure holds. This is said to be that closure holds. The second is associativity. Associativity means to check. Now, wherever there is a star, I will write a plus. Okay. Because star is addition here. To check A plus B plus C is equal to A plus B plus C. Where what are A, B, C? A, B, C are all integers. So is this true in integers that if I take A plus B plus C, it equals A plus B plus C. So this is obviously true in integers. So we will not justify this. So we will write this is clearly true in integers. So this associativity will be clearly satisfied. The third is existence of identity. So existence of identity means I have to find identity, right? So we will find E. So who is that person E, which satisfies what property should E satisfy? The E and the element E should satisfy that A star E should be equal to E star A should be equal to A again. But star is plus means A plus E should be equal to E plus A and that should be equal to a so what which element will which integer will satisfy this property that integer is zero so identity exists so after identity exists we now go for the last part which is said to be inverse exists so does inverse exist so let me write existence of inverse but existence of inverse is for whom existence of inverse is for all elements not a single element should be left out okay so if you take any alpha can you find an alpha dash so that it is equal to identity okay so who is given to us alpha is given to us so given alpha which is integer to find alpha dash which is also an integer okay alpha dash should also be an integer so what is addition here but what is star representing star is representing nothing but plus so alpha plus alpha dash is equal to identity who is identity identity is zero we have just now shown so what should be alpha dash so what is the answer of alpha dash so alpha dash must be nothing but minus alpha and this is true for every integer right for every integer so you take any element a uh, integer you will find so what is the inverse of zero inverse of zero is zero itself what is the inverse of um, one the inverse of one is minus one what is the inverse of minus one the inverse of minus one is plus one okay so this means that all four are satisfied so therefore this clearly indicates that my z plus is a is a group what you further know that in z plus further let me write here further if you take any integers and if you add them what is a star b a star b is nothing but a plus b if you add a plus b then it is the same as b plus a right 3 plus minus 4 is the same as minus 4 plus 3 correct so you can do this so this means if a if a plus b is equal to b plus a but but what is b plus a b plus a is b star a so we have concluded that a star b is equal to what is equal to b star a and this holds for all a b it should not hold for some two people okay it should hold for any taken any two people a star b must be equal to b star a and therefore we now further declare that z plus is not only a group but z plus is uh, what if such a condition is satisfied that a star b is equal to b star a for all a b that group is said to be abelian group this means that z plus is what z plus is an abelian group okay next example now show that the set Q star with respect to multiplication is a 
group what is q star q star is non zero rationals non zero rationals so you do not have the zero num zero element over here okay so why is this a uh, group so again in my answer i will write what is the closure now i will go a little bit quickly right so let a b a and b be two non zero rationals means a and b are what a and b are in q star means they are non zero fractions something like 2 upon 3 and 4 upon 5 and if i multiply them what will i get 2 into 4 up into 3 in upon 3 into 5 which is 8 upon 50 so this is again a non zero fraction because this was non zero fraction this was non zero fraction so the multiplication is also a non zero fraction this is a very obvious fact for us so we will just state that if that is a and b are non zero a and b are not zero and they are fractions and therefore what will happen a into b is also a non zero fraction which is nothing but it tries to tell me that a star b is an element of which set it is an element of q star because q star contains all those numbers which are non zero fractions associativity now henceforward what i will do is i will try to skip the associative associativity part okay if you have three non zero fractions a b c a is a fraction b is a fraction c is a fraction and all of them are non zero what will happen if i multiply them a into b into c is always the same as what a into b into c okay in your mind you must be running with such, such fractions 2 into 2 upon 3 4 upon 5 and 6 upon 7 if you multiply 4 upon 5 and 6 upon 7 and then multiply it by 2 upon 3 it will give you the same answer as 2 upon 3 into 4 upon 5 and then you multiply it by what 6 and 7 so it will give you the same answer right so this means that this associativity clearly holds so i will not check this associ associativity for many examples henceforward the third is identity identity who do we expect the identity the we want to find identity here e is question mark and how should this e be e should satisfy the property that a star e must be equal to e star a must be equal to a but star is multiplication that is a into e must be e into 1 a is equal to a so what is the obvious choice of identity i will choose e equal to 1 is it a non zero rational number yes it is non zero because it is 1 is it a rational number yes because 1 can be written as what as a fraction 1 upon 1 so yes so identity is there now the last part is inverse i will take any element in q star so let a be an element in q star obviously this a is what a is a non zero fraction so if a is a non zero fraction this means that a can be written as what some p upon q okay and what is the inverse of this a into a dash and what is the inverse of this a so a into a dash must be equal to identity this means that a dot a dash must be equal to one because identity is how much because the identity is one but what is a equal to this means p upon q multiplied by a dash must be one so what am so what is the choice for a dash this means a dash is equal to how much a dash must be q upon p is this a non zero fraction yes because p and q were non zero over here because a was non zero and q upon p is also fraction so q upon p, p is also non zero fraction therefore inverse of every element exists right now here zero will not come into the picture because in our set q star zero is not there so finding the inverse of zero that question will not arise in this part okay so inverse of every element exists and therefore by all the four axioms now we can finally declare that q star with respect to multiplication will form a group can i say something more about this group if i take a star b if i take two rationals if i take 2 upon 3 and if i multiply it by 4 upon 5 is it the same as 4 upon 5 multiplied by 2 upon 3 yes so a star b is equal to a dot b but a dot b is equal to b dot a but b dot a is equal to b star a 
so this means that a star b is equal to how much b star a for all a b in that set q star so this means that this q star only is not a group but it is now which type of group it is an abelian group q star dot is an abelian group so i have taught you two examples of what abelian groups what was the first example the first example was z with respect to addition and the second example was q star with respect to multiplication okay